Put it out. We're living in days of much discouragement and disappointment. Most of us have had to forfeit our summer holidays this year, and we're not sure what Christmas is going to be like this year. Listening to the news every morning is so discouraging. The second wave has already come our way, and some are even speaking of the third wave. However, in these days of discouragement and disappointment and uncertainty, as Christians, we can take comfort from the words of Scripture. And this morning, I don't want to share with you so much my thoughts, but I want to share with you some encouragement from the Scriptures. Can I suggest to you this morning that we can draw encouragement from the fact that God loves us. John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Take courage in the fact that God loves you. We have the encouragement that God is always with us. Listen to Lamentations Chapter 3, verses 22 and 23. The faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. Great is his faithfulness. His mercies begin afresh every morning. I'm encouraged from my scriptures this morning because God is always with us. Then we have the encouragement that nothing will come between us and God. Listen to Paul in Romans 8 verses 38 and 39. For I am convinced, he says, that neither death nor life, neither angel nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. We have that encouragement in Scripture that nothing can come between us and God. And then he gives us encouragement when earth itself is unstable. Listen to Psalm 46 and verses 1 to 3. God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help in time of trouble. So we will not fear when earthquakes come and the mountains crumble into the sea. Let the oceans roar and foam. Let the mountains tremble and waters surge. Hey, we have that encouragement that he gives us even when everything around us seems unstable. We also have the encouragement that God is there to guide us no matter what our circumstances. Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. In Psalm 37 verses 23 and 24. The Lord does direct the steps of the godly. He delights in every detail of their lives. Though they stumble, they will not fall, for the Lord holds them in his hand. I have the encouragement this morning. God is there to guide me, no matter what my circumstance. And then we have the encouragement that we won't have to be afraid Because God is with us. Isaiah 41 and verse 10. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and uphold you with my victorious right hand. My friend, even in these days of pandemic, I have the encouragement of Scripture. I need not fear, because God is with me. And then we have the encouragement 
that God is there to help us with our burdens. Matthew 11 verses 28 to uh, 230. Then Jesus said, Come to me, all you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon me. Let me teach you, because I am humble and gentle of heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Yes, my friend, this morning we have the encouragement of God's help with us as we carry life's burdens. Then we also have the encouragement, according to Exodus 14, 14, that God will fight for us. Listen, the Lord will fight for you. You need only be still. And if God is for us, who can be against us? And we have the encouragement that even during the dark times, God reminds us that he has a personal plan for us. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future.